YouTube is a place where LGBT people of colour have a space. It's a space for us because we're denied access to mainstream dominant media like cinema and television. And we're also excluded from spaces that are created for LGBT mainstream media as well. It's a place where we have pop promos, chat shows, political activism. Here is I'm a homo from Rainbow Noise. Until they fall and Ooh. basically I figure I'm too real for these Satan niggas Probably cause my gay pro bitches like so pull, pull, pull that trigger My ego getting bigger, hate on me, hate on we LGBT Reppin' for my faggot family We also create our own forms of popular culture by imitating dominant forms as well We question dominant forms too and here is um, the Lost Boys talking in an ironic way about the deconstruction of race and music. In it, they question their own participation in rap culture. Thanks for coming. I'd like to welcome the Lost Boys to our show. It's great to be here. Thanks a lot for having us. So you've been sweeping the queer music scene in a big way, but there's just one issue that you haven't addressed. The viewers out there are really curious about what the Lost Boys have to say on race. I mean, you both are not the image of the African-American urban rapper that we often see. You sound very articulate and educated. And you, Be Steady, I mean, your skin tone is harder to identify racially. I was just wondering, what are you? So in that, they are very knowing about their own racial categorizations and nomenclature and play with that. It's also a space for international activism and we'll see Unconditional Love by J Flag in which Jamaicans visibly show themselves as gay friendly and homosexual, which is quite a radical act and only possible with user-generated content. It's equivalent to It Gets Better campaign, but it's generated from Jamaica, and it's called Unconditional Love. So they're two siblings. Beautiful Jamaica, eh, Matt? Just a rich culture, the diversity in people. That's what really makes Jamaica what it is. You're right, Christine. But you know what? As a gay Jamaican, I believe. As my brother. We have the right to be. Unconditional love is our part. I love you, sis. I love you too. We've created a space where we can active, have activism. We've created a space where we can have chat shows which deconstruct popular chat shows and also bring in new gender norms and new parodies of gender. The two videos I'm going to show you from Studology, which is um, a, an activist channel, and The Rainbow from Trinidad. Yo, yep, you already know hot wings and she is hot. You already yeah, know, you know what I'm saying? Hot, Say like what's fire. Hola. Yeah, Hello. yeah, so we just gonna ask her a couple questions, you know, try to get to know her, you know what I'm saying? Yes, indeed. First off, hi, right, hot wings. You know we had an LGBT event, so all these young lesbians want to know, would you ever date a female? Uh, she's bad. 
Don't if she's stud, bad, right, y'all. Studs can be bad too. Uh oh. Yeah, studs uh -oh. are bad. You know, all the studs and fams out there. You already bad, know that. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, but it's all good. Yep. That so we're allowed to play, we're allowed to flirt in our own space that we've created because we're excluded from other spaces. So we come with joy, desire and power. And here's the, the last one I'm going to show, which is a little bit of humour, but it's a gender play from the Caribbean, from Trinidad. Hi, welcome to the comedy segment of Caribbean, Caribbean Rainbow. Rainbow. I'm Bo. And I'm Rain. A.K.A. Raul for today. I'm Raul. <laughs> and today we have a lot of fun in store for you. So stay tuned and we hope you like. Yeah. Mama! Well, that's my dad's child. So, this space is a safe space. It's a powerful place. It's a place where we take power. Where we control the way that we're represented in our own media.